All right, today's gospel reading is going to be from Luke chapter 8, verses 16 through 21. Uh, As always, I'll be doing the explanation according to the Blessed Theophilic. Actually, not as always, because yesterday I did it uh, according to uh, St. Cyril of Alexandria, because I hadn't had the explanation according to the Blessed Theophilic until today, and it came in in the mail today. Um, I've talked about Blessed Theophilic and this explanation, uh, these books, um, you know, modern day people talk about the Bible and they have their, their beliefs or their interpretations and stuff like that. Um, that's fine. Right. I think it's, people can, they, they can do whatever they want. Um, you know, I'm just not going to be smart enough to think I can explain things better than say like, uh, a saint, um, or, or somebody that, was very, um, you know, that lived a much better God, God in their life. I'm, you know, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I definitely do not do that. I, I fall, I fall short of, of doing that every single day. So, um, I'm just trying to learn and get better. And by reading these, these, and hopefully these help you out as well. Um, and, uh, yeah. So Luke chapter eight, verses 16 through 21. No man, when he hath lighted a lamp, covereth it with a vessel, and putteth under a bed. But he setteth on a lampstand, that which, that they which enter may see the light, for nothing is secret, that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come to light. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For whoever, whoso, whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken, even that which seemed, seemeth to have. Then he came to his mother and brethren, and they could not reach him because of the multitude. And they, and it was told him by certain, which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand outside, desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are those who hear the word of God and do it. All right, so the explanation uh, from 16 to 18 uh, which are the, the verses, No man, when he hath lighted a lamp, covereth with a, a vessel, or, pu- or putteth under a bed, but he setteth on a lampstand, that they which enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither a- anything hid that, that shall not be known and come to light. Take heed, therefore, how, how ye hear. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken, even with that he seemeth to have. Here, begins another teaching. The Lord addresses these words to the disciples, urging them on a strict way, onto a strict way of life and teaching them to be strugglers in virtue because they will be seen by all. He who teaches and preaches is indeed seen by all, for all examine him to see if he is good or not, and nothing about him remains hidden. Therefore, O disciples, if you have diligence and zeal, you will be given greater grace from God. But he who has neither diligence nor zeal by his negligence will extinguish and lose even that grace which he seems to have from God. And then 19 to 21, then he came to his mother and his brethren, and they could not reach him because of the multitude. And it was told him by certain which said, thy mother and thy brethren stand outside desiring to see thee. And he answered them and said unto them, my mother and brethren are those who hear the word of God and do it. Here it is apparent that Christ was not in the company of his relatives according to the flesh. He had left them to devote himself to spiritual teaching, but now his relatives come to him. Thus we learn that anyone who is entrusted with serving God must put God's service before all else and must even set his parents to one side if they are about to impede him from doing God's work with thoughtless and pointless requests. This is what the Lord does now. When some speak to him concerning his relatives... When some, some, when some speak to him concerning his relatives, he does not restrict his kindred to the few related to him according to the flesh, and does not consider only the sons of Joseph worthy to be called his brothers. He has come to save the whole world and to make all men his brothers. And therefore, he says, my mother and my brethren are those who hear the word of God. But merely to hear the word of God saves no one, and instead a command... Uh, condemnation 
And so he adds, and do it. After hearing, one must do. The word of God means his own teaching, for he, for all that he spoke was of his father. He was not, as some thought, God's adversary, speaking words that were not of God. Some have also understood this passage to mean that while Christ was teaching and gaining renown through his teaching, some became envious and tried to ridicule him by saying, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand outside, desiring to see to see thee. His mother appear to be poor and humble, and his brothers insignificant, the sons of a carpenter. And so, by calling attention to his mother and his brothers, they sought to demean him as someone of lowly origin. But the Lord, knowing their thoughts, rep replies, Lowliness of birth does not offend me. Rather, even if someone is lowly, let him heed the word of God, and I will make him my kinsman.